Today on TBC, the Yankees are World Series bound for the first time in 15 years. Stick around. And Spy 2 kicks off the scary movie season strong. What critics and audience are saying today on The Brave Club. Hey Warriors, welcome to the Brave Club. I'm Karina. And I'm Matthew, here with Max Christian Sarge. Have you guys seen your yearbooks photo? Yeah, I saw yeah. it on the website. Same. But, but one of my hairs was sticking up, so... But I thought they were supposed to tell you that stuff. I didn't yeah. take Don't it. Don't they? Yeah. yeah, but like, I got injured in my eye, so like, oh, you, one, it like when yeah. I smile, it closes a lot more than the other eye. Yeah, I remember when you oh. got that from the baseball. Yeah. We'll get to our top stories in a sec, but first let's check out the weather. Smile 2 has made a strong entrance at the box office, debuting with over $23 million over its opening weekend, easily clinching the top spot in a rather quiet North American market. This R-rated sequel to the creepy psychological thriller Smile has met expectations, opening closely to the original film's $22.6 million in 2022. The first movie, initially destined for streaming, turned out to be a sleeper hit, making $105 million domestically and $217 million globally. Coming in with an additional $23 million overseas, Smile 2 has launched with a total of $46 million worldwide. Directed, directed by Parker Finn and starring Naomi Scott, the film has received favor, favorable audience reviews, earning a B on cinema score, an improvement over its predecessor. I haven't seen it yet, but like, I've seen screenshots of it on TikTok. I watched it on Friday with my parents and Kylie and Aria. Oh, they was, let you watch that? Huh? They let you watch that? Yeah. Oh. It, it wasn't that scary. I, it was a good movie, though. I liked it. I'll probably watch it when I'm older. Yeah. yeah. Same. And now to Matthew with our lifestyle story for today. The Walt Disney Company is introducing a Lightning Lane premiere pass for faster access to rides at Disneyland and Disney World. Debuting October 23rd at Disneyland and October 30th at Disney World, the pass allows guests one-time entry to all available Lightning Lane rides. At Disneyland, it costs $400 a person per day, while Disney World's pricing varies from $129 to $449 depending on date and park. Unlike existing passes, the premiere pass doesn't require guests to schedule ride times. Separate park admission is still required and standby lines remain available. $400 is like really expensive. Like you have to pay for the ticket and you're yeah. probably going to buy food there. It's too much it's money for that. Like, yeah, you can buy a new phone and that much money. Yeah, just to yeah, go and on 400 ride per person yeah. too. Oh, like it's just a one time. Yeah, it's just and you can't even use it like it's just one time. Exactly. Back. Yeah, and it's additional to the tickets. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. And now let's check out today's 10 second trivia. Which of the following diseases is most commonly spread by mosquitoes? Tuberculosis, malaria, cholera, or tetanus? Malaria is most commonly spread by infected mosquitoes. Seminole County is facing increased health risks from mosquitoes and bacteria following recent hurricanes. Heavy rains and flooding create ideal breeding conditions for mosquitoes, raising concerns about diseases like West Nile virus and Zika. Additionally, floodwaters can spread harmful bacteria, leading to infections. In response, local health departments are enhancing mosquito control efforts and promoting public awareness about safety steps. Residents are encouraged to eliminate standing water and protect against bites. Staying informed and engaged with public health initiatives is crucial for managing these post-hurricane health threats. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys laughing? It's reminding me of a scene of a scene in a movie where the guy he's on a radio and the radio is into the microphone. <laughs> and now over to Saharsh with today in history. Hey 
Hey guys, it's me with Today in History. On October 21st, 1897, Thomas Edison invented the electric light bulb, a groundbreaking invention that changed the world. After many experiments, he created a bulb that could burn for up to 1,200 hours. This was a huge improvement over earlier designs, which often failed quickly. Edison's invention allowed people to have light in their homes and workplaces without relying on candles or gas lamps. It made life easier and safer, and it paved the way for modern electric lighting. Edison's light bulb is still considered one of the most important inventions in history. I'm Sahersh, and this has been Today in History. The New York Yankees are heading to the World Series for the first time in 15 years after Juan Soto's three-round home run in the 10th inning secured their victory over the Guardians and the ALCS. This one marks their first American League pennant since 2009. Major League Baseball introduced a flexible start date this season to reduce downtime between League Championship Series and the World Series. So the Yankees will face the Los Angeles Dodgers for the World Series set to start on October 25, 2024. I've always been a Yankees fan, so I'm excited they're going to the World Series now. Yeah, it's been a while since they yeah. last won. And Guan Soto's a beast at the play. He's been doing really good. Yeah, he's been performing pretty well in the playoffs. Yeah, his three home run. Now let's take a look at our Warrior updates. What's up Warriors, I'm Sahersh and here are your Warrior updates. The Warriors girls volleyball team are now the 2024 SCPS girls volleyball champions. Big congratulations to our dedicated players and coaches for their hard work and determination. You've made us all proud. We want to give a huge shout out to the teacher of the year, Miss Atkinson. Congratulations and thank you for all you do for us students at, here at SMS. And another congratulations to the SMS Employee of the Year, Ms. Everhart. Our staff on campus are truly the best. Congratulations. Book Fair is returning to SMS, November 7th to 15th. Every student will visit the Book Fair in their ELA class. Students will receive a wish list on the previous day. This Friday, we'll, we'll be having Pink Out. As a friendly reminder, students are not allowed to bring any paint on campus for this event, but you should wear as much pink as you can as we spread awareness for breast cancer. Sanford Middle Spirit Night will be held at Top Golf on Sunday, October 27th. Tickets are $20 per person, so make sure to come out and support SMS. That's all for now. For more information on your Warrior updates, make sure to follow SMS on all social media. Big congrats to the girls volleyball team. Yeah, good job to them. I think I know a couple people on that team, so congratulations. Students, just a reminder to check in for the goals you've set for yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help or tutoring, and be aware that we also have mental health counseling on campus to help when needed. And remember the tardy and cell phone policy. No phones or earbuds during transition. Get to class on time and avoid those tardy sweeps. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and stay connected with Sanford Middle on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with all SMS news and events. Warriors, remember you are brave. Believe in your potential, respect your school and community, always do what is right, visualize your success, and engage in Excel learning. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and we'll catch you next time right here.